This time, I'm showing how to paint a reflective green lake. For my sketch, I used Rosiena, Cerulean Blue, French Ultramarine, and Paints Grey. Same colors we will need for the main painting. Prepare a large, medium, and small brush. Start by misting your paper with water. It should be equally moist. That's why I would use a hockey brush to transfer water all over the paper. Give it a few minutes to soak in. Well diluted raw sienna will be applied in the center of the painting. I usually paint on the wall, that's why you will see some dripping. The next color is cerulean blue. Starting from the bottom, moving slowly up, I'm building a nice gradation for the water part of the lake. I would do the same for the sky. To bring in Deep colors, I'll use a French ultramarine next. Again, make a gradient on the top and on the bottom. For the land areas of the lake, I would take a napkin and take off extra color. We can only do this part while the painting is still moist. While we are waiting for our paper to dry, let's mix some green. Rosiena and cerulean blue would make it a lighter green color, where rosiena and French ultramarine would make it a little deeper color green. Now decide where your horizon line would go. Make sure the paper is very dry for this step. And start applying the lighter color green along the line. Paint your marshland as well. There is no need to follow your sketch precisely. Be creative, be quick, and don't use always the same color green. I would take a little bit more blue or a little bit more yellow to create different tones. Now, for the darker part of the trees, I will use the deeper green. Don't forget to paint a reflection. If dripping happens, you can always fix it with a napkin. I'm speeding up some of my video today so you can see the process quicker, but of course I'm moving my brush much slower. Use the deep tones of blue for the shadows on the trees, reflection, and the marshland. Now I'm starting to work on the closer up tree on the right side of the painting. I'm using the same deeper color of blue as I've been using for the shadows. Random movement of my flat brush helps to create an effect of the leaves on the tree. Paints gray and ultramarine would make it a darker blue that I'm using for the lower part of the lake. Since I'm painting on the dry paper, there is a risk to leave the sharp line. That's why I'm using just the water to soften the edge. My tree has dried already as well, so I'm using the darker paint to add more texture. I would add a little bit of green as well, on the sides of the tree mainly. Throughout the painting process, I wait for some areas to get dry, some areas of the painting I'm keeping moist, and adding more and more colors, layer by layer. 
At the moment, I am sharpening the edge of the marshland. It seems like the color is very dark. But you need to remember that it will get lighter when it dries. If the line is very sharp, you can spray on it to make it dissolve. To add more color for the upper part of the sky, I'm adding more blue. Look how easily the color goes. That means that my paper is moist already and I'm spreading my color easily. I have waited for my lower part of the painting to get dry and with my tiny brush I'm making the last addition for the painting. Individual pieces of grass. Use more than one color for the better effect. This painting is finished. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial.